It was like coming out of some kind of horrible trance or dream. Um, I can only liken it to after, you know, I, I don't want to overanalyze it, but to have been possessed by something so awful and so alien, and then the next morning wake up from it, remember what happened and realize that basically, I mean, in, in, in the eyes of the law, certainly in the eyes of God, you're responsible and, and to, to wake up in the morning and, and realize what I have done. And with a clear mind and all my essential moral and ethical feelings intact at that moment, uh, uh, I'm absolutely horrified that I was capable of doing something hadn't known that before basically i was a normal person and he just put it in our coffee or something you know? and we went he he was saying i advise you not to he didn't know what it was it was just sort of you know it's all the thing you know with that sort of the middle class london swingers or whatever i hadn't all heard about it and they didn't know it was different from pot or pills and they gave us it and that was a close one he was saying, I advise you not to leave me, though. He was saying, he was from Orgy in his house and he didn't want to know. Superhero, um, super dream! We were had living with this defection. Incredible things going on. And uh, all that's, that's how it happened. I was around his table and then... No, no, I mean, this, this was a dinner. We got out and went to us and this guy came with us. He was nervous. He didn't know what to do. What we were going to do. How? We haven't got a boat! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we did, it was insane going around London all the We thought when we went to the club, we thought it was on fire, and then we thought it was a premiere. Oh, we thought it was a premiere, it was just an ordinary light outside. Well, what's this? Your, your watchdog? Mm, watchdog, good idea. <laughs> well, shit, what's going on here, you know? And we were cackling in the street, and then, you know, people were shouting, shouting, let's break the window, you know, it was just insane. We just had our heads and people had come up to me and I finally got, we got on the list and we all thought there was a fire in the list, it just was a red light we were all screaming like that and they were like, all hot, hysterical and we all arrived on the floor because this was a discotheque in the local building you know, we got on the list, stopped and the door opened and we are all just ah! and we just see this and then we walk in sit down and it's like that one tables elongating. I think we went to eat before that and it was like in the thing I read about opium where the table suddenly I suddenly realized that it was only a table like this with four of us but it went this long. Oh. The soil and you will see the object. Clearly no mind. Is the largest pyramid in the world. It's a pyramid. 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 You have perfect geometry and you have cosmic points. Once I saw that a year and a half ago, I immediately knew. And Pyramids. the tofu that I have is Pyramids. firm tofu. It's been Pyramids. marinating in soy sauce and uh, garlic Pyramids. and freshly grated ginger. Even to a guy like me, that's Pyramids. cold. And a little sesame Pyramids. oil. So tofu is kind of bland Pyramids. all on its own. Pyramids.
lovely. It's not everyone who can make a good cup of tea. It's simple, merely, but many people get careless about tea making. Careless? They don't know the secret, you mean. To the tea video here. Talking about tea. Mike and his tea. Tea, tea, tea. I've got tea. I've got hundreds and hundreds of tea bags here. My uh, my wife, of course, is a saint with my book collection. She's a saint with my tea. I take over the whole... Second, I'm going to tell you the benefits of green tea, of rooibos teas, and of yerba mate's. Green teas, green teas especially, they have so many health benefits. If you if you don't choose organic, then you're 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 really not getting the full. help fight cancer, they help um, refurbish the dying cell, the dead cell, the cancer cell. A lot of antioxidants will help make that cell grow with, without affecting the, uh, it'll get rid of the dead tissue, work on that without affecting the good tissue. Cats, as he was killing, was feeling the, the exercise of power. Uh, he was feel, feeling the control he had over that victim. Uh, he knew the waking thought would be a cat's. <laughs> I think he's very cool. Individual. Could be very personal, very particular. But underneath is monster. Except for this one small but very potent, but very destructive segment of it that I kept very secret, very close to myself, and didn't let, let anybody know about it. Each time I'd harm someone, each time I'd kill someone, there'd be an enormous amount of, of, of horror, guilt, remorse afterwards. But then that impulse to do it again would come back even stronger.